Thousands of different planets have been discovered till date, but only one stands out from all the rest, Earth. But with so many planets being discovered each year, it's no wonder we'll meet aliens one day. But hope they're not as stupid as this. So let's think about it. Will we ever meet them? What will they do to us? How will we communicate? So let's discuss about aliens. Consider the following. There are thousands of different planets we have discovered till date with thousands of different sizes. So there should be aliens in one of them, right? Folks at NASA say there are 40 billion planets in the Milky Way alone. Even if 0.01% of them had life in it, there should be 4 million civilizations in the galaxy. So where are all the aliens? This is the Fermi paradox. Maybe we are just not communicating properly and they are reading our signals as gibberish. We have tried a lot, like in the Voyager 2 probe, a golden disk with music from the earth, sounds of human speech and how we look was inscribed. We never got a reply. Maybe they are just scared of us. But once we did get a reply. Yes, we did. In 1977, August 15th, Jerry E. Ehman of the Ohio State University, working for SETI with the Big Ear Radio Telescope, discovered this particular signal from the Sagittarius group of constellations. What is so special about it, you ask? Well, it is 30 times louder than deep space and was broadcasted at a frequency of 1420 MHz, which hydrogen normally produces. It is the most likable candidate for extraterrestrial life elsewhere in the universe. But recently, a new theory has been devised to, for, as an explanation for the wow signal. This theory says that a comet could have passed in front of the Sagittarius group of constellations at that time, therefore creating the signal. There were two comets which passed through that region which weren't discovered at that time. Those comets are yet to return and therefore may be putting an end to this amazing signal. But still, why do we search that far? Maybe we can find them much closer. Consider Europa, you know, the moon of Jupiter, where life is said to exist, beneath its miles thick ice. How did it come there? Well, Jupiter's radiation, sunshine, comets and thick ice gradually made enough conditions for life to grow. Life will be extremely preventive in Europa like octopus or worms. NASA has proposed squid-like robots which can go through the ice down into the oceans below, therefore exploring the oceans for life. Even if Europa has oceans, it will have more water than the Earth as its oceans are much deeper than Earth. Another peculiar feature about Europa is its veins red veins crossing across its surface is mostly salt content or cracked ice. Can you imagine Earth too was once like Europa today? So The Earth was formed about 3.8 billion years ago. At that time it was just a hot ball filled of magma. But then suddenly rain came cooling down the Earth's surface making oceans and land masses. But something unexplained happened at that time. Something happened due to which microbial life appeared on the earth, which gradually grew into more complex structures such as humans. Of course, we know that this was due to a process named evolution, which is still not completely understood. But something must have come before the bacteria, something which made the bacteria to come onto earth. Well, of course, there are many theories as to how the bacteria came onto the surface of the earth. Well, let's discuss about five of them. One, panspermia. Panspermia says that a meteorite from some unknown world having life in it must have struck the earth on its early stages. The meteorite had microbes on it, therefore planting life on the earth. This theory has support from the ALH84001 meteorite found in Allen Hills, Antarctica where microbial structures were seen on the meteorite. The meteorite was 4.8 billion years old and 
came from the red planet itself. This literally makes us all Martians. The structures have been explained as no bacteria is needed to make those structures. So maybe putting an end to that theory. Number two, lightning. This theory says that lightning must have struck the oceans on its early basis, therefore mixing all the key compounds for life and making amino acids, which therefore produce proteins. Amino acids are the stepping stones to life. This theory has been tested on a lab and proved positive results, but still you have no proof. Number 3. Radiation When the earth was forming, the sun was also very young. When the earth formed, the ozone layer wasn't that good. So, radiation from the sun could have easily killed all kinds of life on the earth. But this theory says that life building gases could have existed underneath Antarctica's ice. The ice produced enough temperature for the life building gases to mix, therefore creating bacteria. Bacteria has been found living under extremely cold temperatures. So bacteria could have originated from underneath ice. But hey, you got no proof. Number 4. Supernovae This theory says that a star could have easily exploded near the earth, therefore blasting the earth with radiation, mixing all kinds of compounds to make amino acids essential for life. Well, this theory too has no proof like the others. Number 5. RNA RNA is very special and can work as proteins and DNA. Therefore, this theory says that RNA could have existed in this world until DNA and proteins took over as they were more efficient. But still, you have no proof. There are billions of galaxies out there, maybe with habitable planets. Maybe there are super intelligent life out there. What are the signs? The first proposed by Olaf Stapledon in his book The Star Maker, then later popularized by Freeman Dyson, a Dyson sphere is a mega structure enclosing a star which is capable of harnessing entire of its power. Can we make it? Of course not. Because all the metal in the solar system won't be enough to make such a mega structure. Well, another factor is its radius. It will be so big that it will enclose Mercury, Venus and the Earth. So, forget about us making it. Maybe others can make it? Well, yes. Recently, a star named KIC 8462852 has been confusing astronomers. The star was dimming extremely. It had dimmed over 20% of the, over the 1600 days it was observed while other stars in the same region and age had dimmed only 2%. Two explanations were given. One, a planet is moving in front of it, but that's not possible as that planet will be extremely large. Another theory says that 55 highly comet sized comets had broken up in front of it and the gas is stopping the light from reaching us. So you may decide which is better. So, we haven't discovered aliens yet. Maybe they're just hiding from us. Maybe we don't have the technology to find them. We cannot go there privately and look. So, aliens are just hiding from us? No. There are many photos on the internet which may freak you out or maybe just make you laugh. So, just read them or see them. Don't be afraid of that. So, yeah, we are yet to discover life. We are still alone in the universe. Therefore, makes you very special so thanks for watching this video leave a like if you liked it as more videos will be coming in the near future salutos